YouTube was good. Had to tap in with y'all. Do I feel like it? No, I don't, but had a crazy week last week. I'm just drained this week. You ever just not be feeling it? Sitting here waiting on a train. Shit, you know me while I'm waiting. I'm trading my stocks, baby. Stock market open at 930, close at 4. As long as I can get me a good hour in the stock market spread out throughout the day. Ideally in the morning between 930 and 1030 or 930 and 1130. That's when you can make some good money, man. I ain't gonna lie though. Every day ain't a good day and I'm still learning. Like I told y'all, that's why I'm really not willing to teach. But follow everybody I told y'all to follow because that's who I'm following. Wall Street Trap, EYL, uh, Aristotle. I took one of his courses when I first started. Uh, Chris Sang on YouTube. Chris is really the truth. All of them the truth. But Chris, I think he really gets to the point. And uh, like I said before, you still need to come up with your own learning method, like as far as what you searching on YouTube, master certain things, support and resistance, uh, moving averages, along with, you know, the volume bars at the bottom of the charts. Just learn the charts. It's really like learning a new language. I think it'll be good for all truckers, especially when y'all got time to pull over and chill. But, uh, Anyway, man, last week had a breakdown, but it wasn't no typical breakdown. I'm on the highway, I-85 North, coming from fucking Spartanburg back to Charlotte. I feel something, boom. I'm like, oh, shit. Truck starts shaking, steering wheel starts shaking, so I'm like, oh, fuck it. I probably got a flat. Hazards. I'm in the uh, middle lane, too. Thank God I'm going up a grade. Throw my head as I hit my brakes. No brakes. <laughs> All glory to the most high. Like I said, I was on a slight grade going up. And there was a pull-off a little, little further up to the right. So I slowly am able to pull off. Get to the side of the road. Hit the emergency brake. I get out. Like, what is that? Can't be a flat. Flats don't cause your brakes to go. I get out. No flat. Walk over to the right side of the truck. Air tank on the bottom of the truck just broke off. I guess because the drive shaft went. No, it wasn't me because of my shifting because it was an automatic truck. So I don't even understand why the drive shaft went. But the drive shaft had broke. And I guess when it broke, it hit the ground, bounced up, and broke other stuff underneath the truck. So the air tank was broke. All you hear is air everywhere. So when I pull over, I get out. I'm walking around the truck to check everything out. Cars start pulling off behind me to the side of the road because the drive shaft came out, hit other people's cars, gave people a flat, got stuck underneath of a Porsche. It was just, it was crazy. But at the end of the day, life's extremely interesting, bro. Like when it all happened and I'm driving, life ever slowed down for you? Like, everything start moving like slow and it kind of is like god give you control of what's going on at the moment and it makes it because i'm on the highway everybody's driving fast but when this happened it was like everything started going in slow motion and it was it made it easier for me to get to safety and then as soon as i got to safety hit the joint it was like all right back to reality and when i say being covered is a beautiful thing being covered is a beautiful thing alhamdulillah and uh yeah, man. So that was my, that's how I ended my work week last week. Cause I'm off Mondays and Tuesdays. That happened on a Sunday. And uh, like I said before, I don't mind working on the weekends because I actually hate the weekends because the stock market's closed. So when I'm working on Saturday and Sunday, it helps my days go by a lot faster so I can hurry up and get to Monday. Most exciting days is the days of the week because it's giving me the ability to flip my work money and help compound interest it so get paid every week if i could turn half my paycheck and make 25 percent by the end of the week by making at least 10 to 5 percent off my money each day that's gonna help me get to my dump truck a lot faster 
So I've just been struggling with a lot, man, in my mind as far as I know all truckers go through this. All people go through this, but, you know, I know mostly truckers watch this. You ever got goals outside of trucking or that's bigger within trucking that you want to get to? And you just struggling with getting through the current moment, man? That's where I've been at. That's the type of space that I've been in, just trying to keep myself level-headed and cool and remind myself that everything takes time because sometimes your mind can move a lot faster than reality like in my head I, I'm, I'm already there I'm living in that moment I see it I can taste it I can feel it I can smell my new truck I can see my son sitting behind me I can see us in the dump truck on the construction sites getting loaded while he's doing homeschool on his tablet I'm sitting here trading stocks on my iPad like I see this I know it's I know it's coming because I'm working for it and I'm not just praying for it. I'm not just meditating. I'm also putting in that sweat equity and not just putting my body to work, but putting my brain to work by absorbing this new information because information is priceless. And one thing I will say about this stock market thing is I'm never going to be the type to sit here and be like, yo, I can make all this money. It's nothing. No, it's something. This is not easy. Like, you're going to take losses, but you learn so it sounds cliche. You you learn so much from your losses that you have to be willing to lose to make progress and to make money and to make and to make making money possible. Let's put it like that and and be prepared. Like I'm gonna keep it real. I I I've been down at times during this process of learning how to trade for four grand. But what I did was for my birthday this year in July, I told myself, man, I'm learning this. I'm not taking, I usually take a trip every year. I was like, I'm not taking no trip. Any money that I spend on my trip, I'm going to use it to learn. That way, if I lose it, God forbid, if I lose the money, I just say that was the money I would have blew on the, on the trip anyway. And that's a sacrifice you got to be willing to make in order to make real progress out here. You can't just want. My mom used to tell me all the time when I was younger, like, you could want all you want. You feel me? Everybody want. What you doing for it though? <laughs> like everybody could pray. But what you showing God that you uh that you willing to work for? So here we are. Working while working. While working. You know? Gotta put in that triple work. But I just wanted to tap in with y'all and tell y'all to stay positive, man. Even when sometimes I'm feeling down. I'm going to tell y'all to stay positive because that's what I'm telling myself. And at the end of the day, stay on this journey with me because it's going to be a beautiful feeling to turn this, turn my mind inside out. Pull everything out of here, bring it to reality and let y'all witness it, man. But again, another day, another 100K. You are what you speak. You see what you say. Don't give up. Don't give in. Aim higher. If you ain't doing that, you ain't doing what you're supposed to do for not just you, but the people around you watching you. Because you never know who you motivating, man. And that's a fact. Uh, this trucking thing, y'all be careful, man. I, b I believe sometimes we take what we do for granted. And it's like, yeah, hey, we so used to driving and it becomes easy to us and all of that. But there's so many different things that can happen while you out here on this road. And the most important thing is just making sure you make it home to your family because some things are just out of your control, out of your power. That's why you gotta make sure you cover. And you know, I believe in what I believe in, but I don't hold nobody or hold nothing against nobody for what they believe in or their religion. So whoever you uh, call on, look up to, pray to, however, whatever your style of worship is, as long as it's not common, causing harm to yourself or anybody else I salute and I support you man. straight up this world is too vast and we're too minuscule to be out here thinking our way is the only way and, and we have the answer the answer is whatever answer is most comfortable with you and that's a fact again stock options man look into it take your time doing it paper trade first but what I will say is when you do paper trade and you start killing them realize that it's, it's a good learning mechanism but it's nothing like the real thing it is it is but when your emotions and real money is involved in it it takes a lot of emotional intelligence to really prosper because it's easy to want to quit once you see your money go down 
but if you trust in everything you study and you took the time out to study and you keep studying, you'll have the confidence of knowing that the probability of the market reversing is just a matter of time. So always buy time when you buy stock, stock options, unless you want some quick in and outs and you get real good at it. But give yourself time to become good at it. Even if you get lucky in the beginning and make a few good trades and end up making some money, realize that that can happen. But at the same time, those losses, they hurt a lot more than the, the gains feel good. So, uh, Y'all stay blessed. Y'all stay motivated. Keep y'all head up through whatever, through whatever y'all going through. Another day, another 100K. You are what you speak. You see what you say.